Welcome traders, Dr. Keith here. Hope you're doing well. It's Sunday, November 29th. Hope you all had a great holiday weekend. Okay, I'm gonna do a combined video today. Let me start out with the Forex market, the FX. So just wanna show you, so like on the Kiwi Yen, remember back here where this white line is, okay, we're looking for long plays. Obviously we had a green Hakanachi dot right here on 11.4 and it's made its nice move, right? But one of the advantages again, using the Hakanachi dot folks, is that when you get the Laguerre heading back up and you get a green dot again, you can get back in, okay? So if you got out at this red dot, made a nice move up, then you're back in, okay? You can see this green dot right here, you're back in. So I'd just like to give examples of that and how I'm using that to, to really maximize profits, okay? All right, so for open trades right now, the Canadian dollar yen, Okay, we're, we're right here looking for this long play to head up higher. That's the open trade right now. And then US dollar Swissy. Okay, we hit profit target one on, on the 27th, right? Now price is down here, not quite at two, but we've got our break even stop. So again, looking for this to continue lower, hit our profit target two. If and when that happens, I will exit another third of my trade, keep my stop at break even, and I will not exit until I get a green dot or break even gets hit on that last part of that trade, okay? All right, so what else am I looking for, folks? Well, you can see here on the peso, okay, we've been waiting for this little bit of a, a bump higher before it has lower again. So again, I was just waiting for a green dot with a green Laguerre, hasn't happened, but again, that is how nice you can really take a look at some of these opportunities to just wait for that particular trigger. All right, so what else am I got going on here? If you're looking at shorts, let me focus on some of these shorts here. You can see the Aussie Kiwi right now, we've headed lower, it's continuing lower. So um, we just, if you're in this trade, you wanna stay in until you get that red dot turning over to green, if any of you are in that, okay? What about the Aussie dollar, US dollar? So you can see here, we typically start heading higher, right? And we got a re-entry right here on the Aussie dollar, US dollar, we're heading higher. So if you're not in this yet, we just want a retracement. You want the green dot to go to yellow or red, then re-enter on that green dot. So, so we've got a lot of opportunities coming up in the FX market, folks. Um, US dollar czar has a nice short term short, but again, we predicted that, you know, with the seasonality coming here in November 2nd. So then if you look at November 2nd, the third, we got our red dot again, right? So again, if you took that, you made a nice trade to here, right to here, exited, then you could re-enter right here. Okay, that's how that works, folks, again, using that Hakanachi dot. All right, folks, so again, no new trades tonight. Let's see how things open up in the markets. Again, CAD yen, currently open trade, as well as US Swissy with no risk on that trade. Now let's talk futures. All right, folks, looking at the futures market, again, I did a nice data mining, short-term trade, Thanksgiving Day trade, worked out again, folks. The odds on this trade is just so amazing. So again, if you got in at 35.50 like I did, right, you, you're making a nice profit. I've taken off half, move my stop to break even. When am I gonna get out? Either if my stop gets hit at break even or I get a red dot. So if this continues higher, I continue green dots. That's an example of a nice risk-free trade, okay, where you can just kind of let it run and run and run. Okay, um, also Palladium. We hit profit target one on Friday, great trade on Palladium. Again, you can see what I was looking at. Look at that seasonal move peaking in February. Laguerre trigger long, green dot. It doesn't get any better than that, folks. So now again, I've got a break even stop and I'm staying in this till again, either my stop gets hit a break even on the remaining half of my trade or I get a red dot. So as long as this stays green, this could be a really, really nice runner, folks. We'll wait and see on that on Palladium. Then my open trade I have as well as feeder cattle. Okay, feeder cattle. I got filled to the price and um, not quite hit profit target one yet. Okay, but again, you can see Laguerre green dots, nice seasonal movement. 
doesn't get, get much better than that on feeder cattle as well. Okay, so again, if I go to public, type in pick futures, let's let this load here. Just want to show you again kind of how I'm looking at things right now. I'm going to sort by trigger. You can see that we've got a cocoa short. So let's take a look here. What do you think? The seasonal is coming short here now until December 21. Okay, it's been a pretty good strong trend. But if we get a red dot and the gear heading down, that may be the top right now on cocoa. Okay, same with orange juice. Orange juice usually makes a nice move down here, as you can see. So if we get a red dot on orange juice, I am going to look to short that. Live cattle, you can see here, we got a trigger. I didn't take this one because I took the feeder cattle. I didn't want to take them both, okay? But again, nice, beautiful move here forecasted from the seasonal advantage there, okay? And then we got a long on coffee, okay? A um, little bit of movement to the upside. We got a green or a yellow dot, you know, with, with that Laguerre heading higher, okay? I don't like it right now just because we're at recent highs on coffee. Okay, so if I sort the next 20 days here, okay, natural gas, we typically have a move down, you can see there, okay? So if I get a red dot down here, and I may look to, to take that short. Let me look over for some longs here for you. Cotton, right? That was a beautiful long play on cotton, beautiful seasonality, Laguerre trigger, green dot, Again, if you follow that system, folks, you're gonna find lots of high, high probability trades. Lumber, you know, same thing, it triggered here long. Basically lumber, you look for longs starting in September. We got our trigger here in November. Beautiful move up here on lumber. Fairly thinly traded though, so just be careful if you trade lumber. So, you know, these are what I'm looking at. Again, let that platinum run. Soybeans has another good 20, 20 days or so. Okay, you can see here, basically since right around October, we were looking for longs and we got that beautiful trigger on October 1st. Okay, we got in, we got out here, the red dot, get back in on the green dot, get out at the red, get back in at the green. See how you can just keep hitting these opportunities using that Hakanachi dot, how successful you can be with that system. All right, folks, so again, no new trades tonight. Let's see how things open up after the long holiday weekend. Let's talk the stock market next. All right, folks, so talking about the stock market, let me just sort by SIG here. Let me bring up the EA, the, the SPY for right now. So again, you know, seasonally speaking, we, we typically, you know, had higher, right, and, until February. Not every day, not every week, but we had higher. So again, you know, what you're looking for, as I mentioned in, in last week's video, right, the nice Thanksgiving Day rally happened again. That's, that, you know, the, those trades don't come around but once a year, but they're fantastic opportunities, folks. So the real question is, so where are we at now? So, you know, there's a lot of good opportunities coming up. You know, we've got several open trades between EBR, CYH, SWKS, PHM, INO, TEL. Okay, but where are we looking at now? I'm still looking for long plays, folks. You know, we'll see how the market opens up. Maybe Netflix will be a long Monday morning. Again, we'll wait and see. I do not want to do a trade Sunday night until the futures open up. You know, look at Apple, folks. I'm going to beautiful move on Apple coming, right? Oops, let me type in the right one here. So you can see here, we got a green dot now on Apple, right? Look at the seasonal coming, but no Laguerre yet. So I'm just waiting to see on Monday or Tuesday if that Laguerre starts pointing up, then I love the long play here on Apple. So some of the bigger moves coming up. Let me just sort down by SIG here. You can see here BHC has a 10% move coming. Nice seasonal play. We got a yellow dot, right? If this turns green, maybe that's a long play. Domino's Pizza, right? We've been patient. We got a Laguerre trigger. If this opens up again on Monday, that may be a new trigger for me to take Monday morning on Domino's. More to come on that, right? ILMN, again, we've got the green, we got the Laguerre, the green dot. Again, I didn't take this one yet just because I only take so many trades at once, but this has been working out nicely so far. Big forecast and move up here on ILMN. 
So if you're in this, right, green dots, you're still good to stay in that trade, aren't you? Then LNG, the engineer, is a great trade year after year. I didn't get into this because the trigger two days before earnings, okay? And um, even though the seasonal forecast that, I don't like to trade right into earnings unless I'm already in the trade. So um, my only re-entry would have been right here on 11.17, but I missed this, I didn't see it. Now I'm saying that I have a scan coming that will catch this next time, and I'll be sharing that with you all soon in the live uh, Wednesday le webinars here. But again, beautiful, beautiful season move on Chenier, folks. There should be no surprise there, right? Look at that beautiful green in the background. Okay, and then again, we've talked about Netflix, you know, NVIDIA, just waiting on that trigger long. Okay, that's what we do. We wait for the green dot, the Laguerre heading higher. We know we're gonna get another great entry here on NVIDIA. So again, big picture. Retailers are shorting. We still want to look for long plays. Great seasonal. Look at all the green 1.0s. We'll see what happens Monday morning. Could be a Domino's Pizza. Could be a Netflix. Could be an Apple. Could be some others. Uh, we'll see how things open up. Other than that, folks, have a great week. Hope to see you on Wednesday's free webinar. Take care now.